It's, are you ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm here with the uh, four-day-old canaries. And I'm going to show you how to hand feed them. Because there's not many videos that show how to hand feed very young baby canaries. These canaries were abandoned by uh, their parents. Fortunately, the mother is still sitting on them to keep them warm. So, there we go. One of them just made a poo. I'm going to clean it up to help keep the nest clean. So what I have here is a CD baby parrot mix. Here we go, there's another one pooing right now. To help keep the nest clean, I'm going to remove it. Although in nature, the parents usually help keep it clean. I have a bottle of hot water here, or, or a bowl of hot water, where I can reheat um, the mix that I made. It should be kept ideally at 39 degrees Celsius, which is, I think, about um, 103 or 104 degrees Fahrenheit. So if it starts to get a bit cold, I can put it there to warm it back up, and I have a thermometer that I can use to check. Because if it's too cold or too hot, it's not too good for the, for the birds. You can see the yellow inside the crop. That's the, the food. And you can stimulate them a little bit to open um, the crop, to open their, their beak to take the food if needed. Now this guy is not interested. Ah, oh, there we go. And you can put your fingers on the side to help guide the food inside. Here's another guy that's hungry. It helps sometimes to have a wet towel on the side to wash your fingers off. And I just keep going, like as long as the birdie is interested in, in the food, I'm going to keep going because I want him to take in as much as he seems to be willing or able to take in. So you can see that right now his crop is getting quite full. All of this over here is the food that he just took in. So this guy seems pretty full right now. So does this one. Oop, there's another little pool that I'm gonna pick up right now. Now, we still have the two light colored ones here that I'm not very happy that they did not quite eat enough to my satisfaction. Oh, well, this one's not too bad. I have to make sure that all of them have a full crop and you have to feed them as soon as you see that there's no food in the crop you have to feed them if the bird is very weak and cannot lift his head to eat it's important that you force feed it that means you have to find a way to open the beak sometimes you can use your nail or even a piece of paper or, or whatever it takes to get them to open the beak because if you don't What's going to happen is that uh, the bird is going to get weaker and weaker and he's going to starve to death. So it's very important to do what it takes to keep them alive. And uh, I'm lucky that the mother here is still taking care of them in the sense that she's sitting on them to keep them warm and humid because otherwise it would need to have an incubator to keep them at the right uh, at the right temperature so again you can keep stimulating them to try to get them to open their beaks like this little guy I'd like to get him ah there we go to open up his crop just a little bit more and you have to be fast 
because it's tiring for them to like open their mouths like this, their beaks. So you have to be quick. And I'm not necessarily the most skilled, but there we go. Looks like he got a good dose. And uh, these babies were hatched on Wednesday, one of them Thursday. And we're now Saturday, so they are only three days old. And it's very difficult, obviously, with such tiny, tiny babies. But what I'm using is I thought to use a syringe or something, but basically what you need is anything that is relatively rigid on which you can put the food. And the food has to be the right consistency. It has to be not too liquid and not too... It has to stick onto whatever it is that you're using to put it into their into their mouth. If it's too liquidy, it's going to drown them when you when you put it into the beak. Oh, this guy looks done. And sometimes if you just shake the nest a little bit, you can see if there's anyone else that's maybe hungry a little bit. And we're going to lift his head up for one more refill because I try to do usually two rounds. By the time that I'm done with the first one, by the, sorry, by the time I'm done with the last one, usually there's another one that's interested again in uh, seconds. That often happens, but they all got a pretty big dose the first time round. Their crops are quite full, so I don't think that that's uh, probably going to be necessary right now but what's important is to mix the what I have is CD parrot baby food for hand feeding and you have to mix it to the right consistency so it's not too liquidy and not too solid so that it doesn't drip off from, um, from the thing I'm just gonna clean this off so you can see what I'm, I'm not actually feeding the food in the dropper I'm just sticking it on to the tip okay so that's what I'm doing, and um, I wrongly thought before that you should put it into a syringe or into the dropper. It's not necessary to do that. And uh, again, I encourage you, if the baby is too weak to lift his head to eat, you have to physically pry the beak open and put in this semi-solid food that I have here into the beak as far down as you can uh, see. I see here one that seems to be maybe a little bit interested. Just tap them a little bit and see if anybody opens his uh, beak. And if so, you have to be ready and you have to be fast because uh, they don't have a lot of strength at this age to keep their beaks open for a long time. That's it. Thank you for listening.